here, I hope you're doing well today. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining a few things that have been happening recently and give you all an insight as to something that's gonna be happening in the future, as well as a collaboration opportunity for you guys for joining me at the BTS. So the first thing is that my collection at the moment is downstairs. And the reason for that is because I'm redoing the room that I keep all of my animals in um, to have like more studio kind of setup. So of course, all of my animals will be back in there. I'm also gonna be having a photo wall. So if you have photos with me, it shows and things, uh, they will be on the wall, which I'll be used for when I do like general vlogs. And in the back wall is where I'll have my fan mail. So a lot of you have been asking me to set up a peer box for actually maybe like a year, two years, and I kept saying I was gonna do it. I never got around to it, but I do now have a uh, peer box set up, although it won't actually be in use till the 10th of May, so it's like another sort of few days, but uh, it is set up ready, and I will put the information for that in the description. Uh, so if you are someone that wanted to send me anything, you are more than welcome to do so. And when I do any sort of fan mail openings, I will do so with my fan mail wall, when that's finished. And then it will all be pinned there so you can all see uh, the stuff that you send me, I guess. But uh, yeah, I do finally have a peer box and uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys send me. A lot of you have been asking me to get a peer box for quite some time now, so it's about time I finally got it sorted. So next up, when I went to uh, Budapest and Croatia recently to do some collaborating with Petco from the Dark Den, I had an amazing time and uh, yeah. We got quite a lot of stuff done, but a few people were like, oh, can you do this, can you do this, can you do this? And I didn't have those messages until I was actually back home. I think people thought I was staying there longer than what I was. So, I'm very happy to say that a certain somebody from Croatia is going to be coming to stay with me uh, a week on Friday. So, uh, not very long, uh, just under two weeks now. And he's going to be coming here to do some filming with my collection and I've got some other little collaboration ideas planned. If you are someone that has another idea for what you'd like us to do, uh, let me know in the comments below and if we are able to do it, then I will do it. I think it'll be a good laugh to get as much filming done with Petco while he's over here. I'm sure he will enjoy it as well and uh, we can get plenty of videos done. And finally, uh, before we get into looking at all of this, there is the BTS collaboration. Now, me and Petco are going to the BTS. We're going to be filming it, um, filming it properly, might I add. Uh, not just walking around the show filming it, but we're actually going there early and have, we will hopefully make a really, really, really good video of the BTS for all of you to enjoy. But I am going to be doing a collaboration with pretty much anyone who is at the show. Uh, I won't say what it is, it's going to be very different to how it's normally done and all I'm going to say is that if you are going to the BTS uh, come and find me and say to me I want to be in your collaboration and I will drag you off somewhere and film something I won't say what it is um, but the footage will be uploaded into a video and I think it'd be quite cool uh, you guys don't know what it is I'm not going to tell anyone what it is because I don't want anyone to try and copy it I figured this would be uh, something very different, no one's done it, and you yourselves, whether you're another YouTuber, or a subscriber, or just someone that just has happened to court catch this video who will be at the show, if you want to be in one of my videos, then uh, that's what you got to do, just go and find me and ask, and uh, it should make for a really, really good video. So, rambling over, I'm now going to get on and actually show you what, what this is and what's been going on, so let's just get straight on with it. So across the top, I have all of my arboreals, all adult arboreals, and uh, some slings across the front. These are just my general slings. I have down here uh, my fancy glass enclosures that I get from the spider shop. I do want to get pretty much all of my uh, collection in these, of course. We have the Trigophelma species Columbia, Trigophelma scientificens, sorry for disturbing that, and of course the T. Celadonia. There's also my Huntsman Spider, who I think is just up there. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it or not. Probably not. Um, who's molted like twice, and I haven't actually got the molt out yet. Um, Tuna Charles Marinus, a uh, few slings there. Try not to trip over things. Then down here, I have um, some Brachys, uh, Gramostola, Pulchra, and my Alphalax. Now, these are actually double double tiered so if I just sort of move that out of the way you can see that there is another one behind 
So these are sort of too deep, shall we say. Uh, the uh, Papabetus, uh, my last Papabetus mother one's matured, which is a bit of a shame. And, oh, my scorpion's actually out for once. You can actually see that just down there. Uh, down here, we have the uh, Pyragallis. Now you might notice the enclosure's a mess because we, I, I decided to carry this down the stairs with my brother and I didn't empty it. And it kind of got a little bit messy, but the spider's fine. It's gonna be sort of reorganized, which I'll probably do later on. Which isn't too much of a problem, I don't think. Uh, yeah, so this is of course where my leopard geckos. This is uh, Autumn, the one that was usually quite aggressive, but has actually seemed pretty docile and she seems absolutely fine in that enclosure with the substrate. I have here a fish tank. Uh, this was brought to me yesterday by my brother. He got back from work and there was a guy that had this fish tank, didn't want it, so um, he's given it to me. Uh, no money was exchanged, which was very kind of him. And so I'm gonna be rehousing a certain spider into that. I won't say which one, you'll see it in a future video. So this is a look at my communal now. It is doing really, really well, of course. We have the hissing cockroaches. I don't know if you can hear that. But um, if I just take this lid off. Okay then, so this is a look at my communal now, of course. And here I do have uh, several different invertebrates, hence why it's called the communal. But I'll show you some of the things that are in here. Um, oops. There's actually one that's actually already out. I have one of the millipedes and uh, these are awesome things a lot of people don't like them they think they're kind of creepy but uh, they are really really wonderful i have you can see these on here. Um, I have loads of woodlouse. Um, I think I have four different species of isopods. I sort of breed these uh, for cleaners. I put them in with my tarantulas. They don't harm the tarantulas, and they uh, just go around and just feed. I don't know how well you can see any of them if you can see them at all. Um, but there are quite a few that's like in the wood, just chilling out. I'll try and get a better. A better look at some point. Loads of them. Absolutely loads. And of course I have cockroaches. I have the uh Madagascan hissing cockroaches. So yeah, as you can see, these are quite big, um, as in they're very large, they're bulky, and these are also really, really well uh, fed. They eat an awful lot, and sometimes, if I can get it to do it, no, yeah, water's not going. They normally do like a hiss, hence why they're called hissing cockroaches. And uh, yeah, these are whoops. These are really, really wonderful, um, wonderful insects. A lot of people don't like cockroaches because they always think of uh, things like, you know, hotels and restaurants and cockroach infestations and things. But I believe it's only like three species of cockroaches that are actually pests. Uh, the rest are, they're all wonderful. So yeah, um, so yeah, I have also have cockroaches in the communal. I have maybe about 60 adults and then uh, I don't know how many babies, I, don't, I can't count them, but there are an awful, awful lot of them. Let's get these back. And they are wonderful. So, I mean, they are. Uh, I know people don't like these, but they are, they're wonderful. They make really good pets as well. So if you are, um, if you are someone's thinking about keeping invertebrates, but you don't know what to get, I would recommend cockroaches as a really, really good start. Um, they don't smell, they eat 
pretty much anything that you put in there. They don't bite. They don't bite with each other. Um, they do breed as well. Uh, these ones are harder to breed. The best ones are like the dubious and things. But, but yeah, these are wonderful. So yeah, let's look at my uh, my cockroaches, which are wonderful. I don't know why they get so much hate. And these aren't food either. Uh, these are pets, pet cockroaches. So something else that's worth pointing out to you guys as an update, I guess, uh, the beetles that I had. Uh, sadly, I checked on these yesterday, and out of five, I only have two left. Uh, they, the other just sort of died for some reason. I don't know why, because they all kept exactly the same. They all fed the same and everything. Um, I do have one that's still a decent size grew up. It's what I would call a face only a mother could love. So I shall call this one Josh, after my brother. <laughs> okay then, so this is Gix's tank. You can see how that's set up. I did that in a fairly recent video. Nothing really exciting to show there. Um, he's currently down in his little hide. So uh, I shan't be disturbing him. So next up is this delightful little uh, cow bag, which is Ramsey, my bearded dragon. She's currently enjoying some cucumber. She's on a salad day at the moment. And she can see that I'm talking about her. She's in a good mood today? No, she's not. Yeah, uh, this bulb has gone as well. So I've actually ordered another bulb on Amazon, which will be here this afternoon. So today she's having a day without any heat, which is why she might be a little bit grumpy. Yeah, she's grumpy. But as soon as the bulb comes, I will, of course, uh, replace it and get her all warmed up. And the glass does need a clean, so I'll be doing that later as well. Down here for the time being is the tub where I keep my leech. I won't be getting that out today. To be fair, I think this leech uh, could do the feed. So I'll probably get out that at some point and allow it to feed off me, which will be in a future video. Um, of course, it is weighted down with a bottle of Disarono, my favourite alcoholic beverage, next to Guinness, and um, that's to make sure that there's no gaps for the leech to squeeze out of. So the next thing I want to show you is, of course, my newt tank. I have a Chinese fire-bellied newt. Now I did have two, but actually one died only yesterday. Um, I checked it yesterday and I found the one that died. Um, which was a shame, I don't know why. Um, it only fed uh, three days ago, so I'm not sure what happened, but um, of course I moved it down here, I cleaned the tank out, and found the one that had died, which is a shame. So yeah, it's just up there, just on the uh, on that bit of floating cork, and uh, seems to be eating really well, seems to be fine. The only thing I would like to do with this is I will be looking at getting some more of these to put in with it, I'd like to try and uh, you know keep a few of them together because I've heard that these get lonely by themselves. So we'll be looking at getting some more of these in the future. So this tank here, of course, is Zelda, my Lassie Dora Power High Banner. Let's see, she's a big girl. Uh, tank plenty big for her, and I've tried to do it so that I can still sort of have access to her without. Uh, having to disturb the tank too much. In here, I have a adult female, or mature female, and a mature male Gramosota pork ropes, or pork rupees. <laughs> the Chaco Golden Knee, I'll be breeding those at some point in the uh, in the near future. So on this shelf along here, it's kind of a mixture of things. I have uh, kind of like odd inverts and some spiders. So I have my Scolopenda Gigante, the giant Amazonian centipede, uh, absolutely wonderful. Um, invert, definitely one I'd recommend getting if you can afford the price tag of one of those they are worth adding if you are available or if you're able to do so. Here I have my crab uh, which is also doing really really well, I'll be showing this in a future video. Uh, Lassador Polycus Pilatus, Grapsider Eongi I have this little tub which is where I had the spider that I caught in the wild in it did die unfortunately but a lot of you enjoyed that video that I did as well as the collaborations with Petco from the Dark Den so I will be going out into you know into England, <laughs> I guess, and I will be trying to uh, find some cool inverts to show you that are native to England. At the back, I have my African predatory beetle. Um, I 
have Feastlings there, Camps Go, yeah, Jenny Carter, uh, Latidora, Dipsidis, and the top one is actually spider, I don't actually know what it is. So these here are my Samira Cosmos spiders, I have my Ladybird spider, uh, my Pac Man frog, which is still alive and doing well, uh, my Widow, Silver is a piece of electric blue, two T Lagunas, and my G uh, poultry. So, um, sort of standard spiders along there. So the top shelf here is just kind of other stuff, I guess. I have um, a couple of like models and things of some video games. Of course, when I get my Spyro exclusive statue, from first of figures that'll be up on here as well. I also have this really, really cool um, display piece of spiders. So there's like a fair throw of blondie, um, and some pokies and other sort of spiders as well as if you can see it if I lift, I'll have to lift the tripod up for this bit. Um, but there's um, some beetles, prey mantis, leaf insects, Uthicas, molts, egg sacs. Uh, so, you know, quite a, quite a cool display piece really. At least I, I think it's quite a cool display piece. And um, yeah, I actually won that in a raffle. So that's pretty awesome. Of course, here is my Monocentipus Barfoy communal, which is doing really, really well. And over here, my um, Orb Weaver, which is doing really, really well. And I don't know whether you'll be able to see it in the video. I'm not going to be moving this enclosure at all, to be fair. I really don't want to stress out. And I know mine in the video. I apologize. Um, at the back, she did an exec, and it has actually started to hatch. There are some uh, little teeny tiny old weavers so I'll be doing a full update video on that in the future. So that's a look at my collection and sort of a few things I wanted to mention to you. I hope you've enjoyed it and it hasn't been too long of course. If you enjoyed the video leave me a comment, let me know what you think and of course give a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed please do subscribe and hit the bell uh, notification so that, that you don't miss my future uploads. It does really help me out and of course if you would like to support me I do have a Patreon which there will be an annotation at the end of the uh, video as well as a link in the description. So as always, thank you for watching everyone, take care, and I'll see you all soon in the next video. Goodbye for me.